So, well, first of all, hi, and thank you so much for making time uh, to talk about your debut album. How are you guys doing? Great. Awesome. Great. I'm, I have so much Wi-Fi here. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Let's maybe start about uh, the beginning of your band. So, Meryl, uh, you left Delane in 2019, I think, to pursue your, your own project. Was it always uh, your plan to start a new band? Um, well, I wouldn't say always, but at some point, um, uh, I just, uh, I just had this feeling of like, yeah, I just really, really want to do that. And it just grows stronger and stronger. And, you know, it's like all about like, um, meeting the right people. So it basically started with uh, just playing a song that I really enjoyed. And I was so hyped about that. Uh, and it, I just kind of reconnected with music and just immediately called Joey and be like, hey, oh man, we need to start a new band. Yeah. And uh, and from that point, it just, uh, like, that, that feeling started, like, growing stronger and stronger. And indeed, at some point, I just, like, knew that there was only one one way to uh, to do this. And that's to sacrifice other things because, like, I just, otherwise it would never, never happen. Like, never <laughs> be able to write it, like, in a full album with the guys. and things like that so yeah i read that you met david online but what were you kind of looking for in a vocalist and how did you stumble upon him <laughs> well yeah we actually we wrote a bunch of songs and uh, we were like yeah we need a singer for this and we kind of wanted someone like we didn't really care if he could scream at all we just wanted a really good vocalist doesn't didn't really matter if it was a girl or a boy maybe just both so that's good I have both. <laughs> no 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 so and uh we actually didn't really know what we were looking for we just hoped that we bumped into the right person so yeah and then david was tagged on facebook by claire i feel i know claire <laughs> that <laughs> i haven't met her once but you yeah. totally did. and then and and like yeah we just immediately felt that he could do all of the things we wanted like very good distorted vocals he could scream just yeah just very good singer so the and he's a he's a he's a nice guy as well so that's cool <laughs> we had this like a massive list of what we wanted like this say uh, we want a vocalist that can basically do do anything or like, and yeah. um, that's also a nice person and also like creatively it's also russian uh, and <laughs> Of yeah. course, he used to drink a lot of vodka and uh, no, but also like creatively, you know, like if you if you throw a song at someone that that person just connects with that and know what to do. And before that, we, we never had someone that even though they were amazing vocalists, they just didn't connect with the music like David immediately did from the first song we threw at him, which was Vertigo. And when, yeah. once we received it, it was like, yeah, like, yeah, th this is what this is awesome. This is what we're looking for. I was just like uh, right from the from the start. Yeah, and Mel and I are, are we are very impulsive people. So we heard like ten seconds of David, and we were like, "This is this is him. This is our singer." Yeah, we found yeah. our singer. Yes, we love him already. We're gonna marry him. Yeah. This is this is our man. Yeah. Yes, da, da, and, da, da, and, he, da, da, and he was. Da, da, da. Yeah. No, it was so it was wonderful. Cool. Yeah, since since the first song, it was just super easy. I like on the first song, we didn't know who, who's on the other side listening to it. So pretty much it was like, well, I'm going to do me the best possible way. And uh, it just resonated with the guys really well. And I was like, fuck yes. Okay, this is it then. And uh, haven't stopped writing since. Yeah. And honestly, it was not an easy song as well that we, that we throw at him, like a very busy song. So that he mm -hmm. actually worked his way around it was like, that he made it work yeah. was amazing. Very impressive. I was listening yeah. to it just this morning, actually. I really like that song. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you should play it live. Go, buddy, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> what made you say yes to these guys? Like, were you instantly drawn to the music or was there another reason for it? Well, I first saw uh, pictures of uh, Joey's feet online and yeah, I said, I damn, so yes, I want to be in a band with this guy this is gonna be so great 
Um, so I just said yes. I wasn't listening to music. <laughs> no, um, uh, completely honestly. Yeah, the, thanks, man. Uh, just, just, just being, just be with the guys for the couple of minutes. Uh, oh, for me, it was a couple of weeks first because uh, it's it's great. You have awesome music that uh, musicians are dedicated. But before you actually verify. Um, uh, that, 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 you know, the intentions are real because many musicians would be like, yes, we started band, it's going to be awesome and we're going to do stuff. And then it sort of like fades out slowly and it's, you have that just like, you know, you write a song, you do a rehearsal and then it's like, that is pretty much it. But uh, uh, with guys, like I saw right away, there was insane drive and it was as the time goes, it just goes more and more and more and more. And uh, they're completely relentless and completely like, like just just bubbling with energy and for me that's that is the most important thing and the the beautiful <laughs> extra was that the music we're writing is the best thing on the planet and i personally resonate with it hugely uh but the 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 human aspect for me is i think is bazillion times even more important and it's just clicked right away so that that's like if you wouldn't say no to this you might as well stop eating nutella it's impossible it's like why would you do that yeah, from your social media, it seems like um, you're not just a band, uh, you're friends in the first place. And I think like with, especially with bigger bands, it's more like a, a business and, and working with colleagues, I guess, or, or something like that. How important was that aspect for you guys? It's everything. Yeah, it's, it's massively important because uh, like, like, you know, a band is... It, it's a very intense, tense, it's like there's like a massive amount of passion going on. And uh, I think if you if you find the right people, that's also what this band is about. It's like we really want to work with people that we really that click with and um, that that works. And we and that's what, you know, kind of happens. So you're also like looking for for those people when when you, you know, when you do certain things. Um, so it, it's really, really important. Yeah, super important. Absolutely, it's just yeah. you know you you seeing those people seven times a day on on the easy week, um, you know on tour you're gonna see them twenty four seven. It's very important to to well, like each other, huh? On like eight square feet, like like nothing. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. you're like in a box together for like months and months, <laughs> and it's. Uh, yeah, it's 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 hugely important, very underestimated to to actually like those people. Be like, I oh, actually like hanging out with them. Not just be on stage, but just like off stage, have things to say and and grow and talk and just yeah. Yeah, the thing is, we don't really approach it as a job. Like we work very hard for this, but this isn't like it doesn't feel like our job basically. So we want to have fun and we need to have fun. And we're just doing the things we love to do. And we need people we love as well to do that. Otherwise, it would become a job. And that's not what Dear Mother is all about. So, yeah, that's it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> um, is that also because I think, or at least as far as I know, you're not releasing this album through a label, right? Is that one of the reasons you're doing this all independently? Yes, uh, it's one of one of the reasons is it's uh, we had a massive, massive, massive chats about it and back and forth and uh, just like yes, no labels sort of thing. It's uh, we're in the 21st century in 2021, I think. And there is like the, the, the work of label has changed drastically. People still live off the, you know, um, the thing that we need to be picked up. Otherwise, we won't have success. We won't have money whatever you just need to we, we sort of dived in very deeply into okay what is it that we want what is it that we can do potentially ourselves what's the benefits what's the downside the downside of all the whole thing is just more work for us the the upside is we're in complete control of everything um and we are not prone to say no to label for sure but working on ourselves for so long we know what we can do and we have very high standards for if there's a label coming in swooshing in take a 75 percent of your cut and you know potentially like completely having having a say over what you do is that would better be 
good and be better than us in what they do for us to allow that to happen because we we are yeah we are over, overlooking everything it's it's a hard work it's 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 a joey said it's not a job it's a, it's it's a full-time job that is a lot of fun but um, it's of course it's a it's job definitely no 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 no. i know what you said I know what you said. Yeah. love you but <laughs> but it's um it's it's something that's yeah that we took on on boards uh, after many many considerations um so yes it's a long-winded answer to your very short uh, question. <laughs> That's a good answer. You're just, yeah, you're just taking your time because your Wi-Fi could drop out in yeah. a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because if I go, this is the only thing you got to yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah. Better get the screen time now. <laughs> exactly, thank you. Yeah, I'm exactly. David, by the way. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Coming from such well-established bands, how is it for you guys to, to not be tied to a label anymore? Was it a kind of... Um, were you at all anxious for not having this kind of entity behind you or? Yeah, it's kind of like, like with Delane, we weren't in charge, of course. So I hadn't much to do with the whole label thing. I just did my drum parts and showed up to the tours basically. So yeah, we also got a, a, an example of what I don't want it to be. And it's, that's like, yeah, the label being in charge and just having to make records to sit out your contract, you know? So not saying the lane is like that, but it could be like that. So we were just, we just want to be in charge for the moment. And if the right deal comes up, then yeah, of course we maybe would take the label. And uh, yeah, basically the, the it's, it's, it's very separated, like Dear Mother and, and the situation we had in delay so for us it's just a, a, a good new fresh start and a lot of fun now i also really like your your band name and, and usually i don't really ask about that because that's like the number one question you will get probably but what is the story behind the name um i also noticed that you took a lot of effort in your thank word to to thank your family was that kind of a role in choosing the name at all um well i think that the the band name uh it was it was really like we really it's like a well that we really thought about it basically it was really hard to you know you're gonna name uh your your band and it, it's it's stupid to have something that just doesn't really mean something so so important um and it was really hard to, to come up with, with something so at some point, uh, like I, I was really depressed, and uh, we already tried like a couple of band names before that as well. And uh, I was not depressed of that, but of other things, of course. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, I wrote a letter to my to my mom in English because that writes nicer than than Dutch. And uh, I wrote like dear mother, and I wrote down like how much she means to me, and how special she is, and. Um, that's kind of um, yeah how where the name came from for me personally, but for everyone it can mean something else, and it's just like it's, it can mean something else to Joey or to David. But we're all all mama's kids, of course. But you know it's like a very special connection you have with your mother if it's good or bad. But it is you know you're born out of her. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> um yeah it gives life that's also nice. yeah. Yeah. no exactly so it, it is a very meaningful name for for all of us and i hope that other people that will connect with it as well in that way yeah is it important as a musician to have a supporting family especially if you're on the road for so long and with a lot of insecurities i guess connected yes to an artist um pretty important as well as well with with friends and uh, everything because like the band is actually always number one uh always in every every band i play with it's always that's that's like your you know your your passion and i think that that as a fam that you you need to leave a lot of things as well like i haven't had personally like family holidays or meetings 
gatherings for for years um, because of you know you're, you're going to tour um, and the, these kinds of things so I think that it's really important to have like a family that you know support you and um, I know that my, my, my parents are super proud of my sister and my, and my friends as well so uh, it's uh, it's nice that they're there yeah yeah, and that goes for all of us actually. Like your family and your friends, that's what you that's what you come home to. That's home. And that's super important. And we um, all come from very great families and we have very lovely, loving friends. So that's yeah, it's as important as the band because but yeah, the band needs all the focus right now. So I feel like uh nowadays it's kind of popular maybe to to have this kind of sound that doesn't really connect with any genre that is kind of breaking out from from the subgenre, you know. And what I was, what I felt like while listening to your music is that I cannot really put a name on it. So I would call it alternative metal, just because it doesn't really go into other boxes, I guess. But um, for people who haven't heard about you yet, what sort of, how would you describe your your music? Exactly like you did. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's it's it's very it's very hard to describe music. It's just at this point with three people's completely different influences uh, match into one and like just just one big pot. So yes, it all sounds different, and I think that's a good thing because it means we're not copying someone. Um, but at the end, at the same time, obviously that you can hear like oh you know these guys probably listen to that guy or the, this band or this, this person. And uh, it sort of reflects in there. So yeah, um, putting your label of alternative, I guess would be a right guess, uh, with definitely uh, some heavier subtones to it. Ah, I nearly dropped my phone there. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a hard, it's a difficult thing to, to put such label on it, but uh, um, yeah, that's how I would describe it. Yeah, and I, it's actually, I'm so bad with sub showers. Like, yes, same. <laughs> when the time when it was just metal or hard rock is over. And I think we're heading towards towards a time that we're actually gonna call it like 17% metalcore, 3% prog, 5%. Like, I don't really know what it is. And everyone has a different label. I think we chose like alternative metal or alternative metalcore to describe it but yeah yeah it's actually it, it's it's a good thing and and a bad thing that that you can describe it because you're doing your own thing on the other hand it's nice to tell like yeah we sound just like bullets on my valentine or something or we're just metalcore but that isn't it so yeah i hope we we bump into the right name for the genre yes but i don't think we will yeah, there's a lot of bands now who kind of also create their own genre or give it a funky name. Is that something you're planning to do? It would be super fun. Yeah, we, we will be playing funk, prog, <laughs> pumpkin spiced, jazz rock. <laughs> with yes. influences of grind. Family metal. Family <laughs> metal. <laughs> family, fr <laughs> family friendly metal. Yes. I understand that you guys wrote some songs before uh, David came uh, to the band, but um, how in general did the songs come about? Like, is there a main songwriter or did you all work together for the most of it? Well, Meryl comes up with most of the ideas. That, like she, she begins with writing and then usually she said, like before David joined, she sent it to me and we, or we wrote together or I just send her back like, oh, I would do this, I would do that. And then she would go back to writing. So maybe Mabel, you could tell a bit more about your writing things. Um, well, I, of course, I, we, we already wrote indeed like, I think seven or eight, eight instrumental songs. So no, no lyrics, no melodies, nothing, because I, I, my mind doesn't work like that. Uh, my brain, so indeed like, um, it started from there, so first we would just throw songs at David and he would like write his vocal melodies and lyrics on there and chop, chop, chop up the songs and send it back and then we have like one more go, uh, which is actually my favorite part when I, when I, when I went back and then I can 
you know, use that as well. Um, and but at some point, like when we, you know, like worked our way through those eight eight songs, or actually seven, we 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 skipped one. Um, that was even more inter- like way more fun, I think, as well, and interesting because then, you know, you already hear, you can, you already know kind of what David is doing, what he is capable of, and you can throw less stuff at him. So at some point, we just only had like like just some chords. Uh, which was actually sold for hire. Um, so just through like this chord progression with like a synth Luke. pad. Yeah. Uh, and he just created like the, um, and, and like the, the dubstep thingy, but he just created like verses on that. And if you just, could just like finish the song like from, from that. Like, uh, so it, it, it's it's really cool how these things kind of evolve. And when I, when I write things, I just hear Joey in my head as well. Because, uh, well, first of all, I love his drumming. And then um, I, I, I can do it. So it's just really nice to um, to uh, to work with that. And I think that the, the, the more we, we know each other, like the more, yeah, I think the songs are... Uh, yeah, like really more like us, us three, like yeah. the the newer the songs. Definitely, yeah. it's like it's it's very it's very natural to work with guys. Never had that in my entire life. Even as a on set, like can't write a song like this with myself. So um, yeah, Meryl has a very always very unique and very nice um, approach to songwriting and and you know structure of the songs. Uh, you know, Joey adds his his magic uh, with punching things and <clears throat> and loads of uh, loads of action. Actually, he's a, he's also a riff machine, which is he, he's hiding behind the drum kit behind that. So it's very much very easy for me to write on the top of that. Um, you know, come up with ideas, melodies, and stuff. It's it's a very natural, very very flowing. Like when you have a good poop, it just goes very naturally. You don't have to push much. It's just very nice. Um, very relaxing. Um, so that's 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 our our, that's our stories keep going back to the to the poop thing. Yeah, always. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. we yeah. always we always circle back to pooping. By the way, we definitely <laughs> we definitely enjoy that. Yeah, no, exactly. But like the the the, the writing pro, writing songs have never been this this much fun and so easy because as well like we we keep the music very close to ourselves and we. Uh, we just we are it's like kind of like the 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 only rule we really have is like we don't want to release anything that we're not proud of. Uh, we only want to do music that we that we enjoy, and I think that that's bulletproof. Album is is literally that. Now I read that there was some kind of meaning behind bulletproof uh, as a title. Um, but would you say is this like a concept album, or is it does it have like an overarching theme or something like that? Um, I, I don't. I don't think it has. Um, it's not, it's not a concept album. I don't think so. It has a. It has a theme that I think we'll be following um, all of our albums, unless unless I change drastically. It's uh, all the things of current time. So like in that time, 2019-20, um, of things that are ha- happening to us, to our close ones, to, to our family, things that are happening in the world, things that basically one can see or we could see with our own eyes and experience with our own hearts. <laughs> um, and uh, it's, uh, it's very important for me because I, um, I, I personally can't write about made up things. Um, so, so it's usually, those are the real things that capture the moment uh, in time. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, are there any tracks inspired by this great pandemic that's uh, upon us? <laughs> and no, actually, because I think we finished the album just before the pandemic. So, I would definitely will be very, very much inspired. Um, <laughs> but uh, but this particular album was literally done in production just before the pandemic hit. So. No. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, the yeah. album, the album title had to had to do with the pandemic, right? Or am I missing something here? <laughs> a bit. I, I, Joe, is there a question for us? Yeah, kind of, uh, Mr. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
no, no bulletproof bulletproof as a as a album meaning um per se is uh something that we we had um between each other like but by the by the time we got to the end of the album by the time we we grew during that period um as a band as friends as uh, business partners whatever you call it it just that album itself uh became bulletproof because it went through so many stages of uh Pre-production, production, master mixing, mixing again, writing, rewriting, re uh, things. So just there's a lot of things happening, um, that is literally that album has a stamp being bulletproof. Now I also noticed that you guys, uh, with your last single, so for hire, you um, you made this comic book. Where did that idea come from? Well, David made a music video, <laughs> amazing music video. Um, and the artist uh, you work with is Pela, uh, American artist, and well, the art was so beautiful <laughs> and so amazing that we thought, well, we should celebrate that with with a graphic novel as well. Absolutely, because it was just a beautiful complement of beautiful artistry created, uh, yeah, between our, us and Kyla, which was just wonderful. So I think well, that was the best as well so yeah that's true yeah and i also noticed that it's already sold out are you thinking about <laughs> getting more editions or something of it or is this is that it <laughs> no it was a strictly limited uh, print so only those who no. actually paid attention and were there early they are uh, praised yes but maybe uh, we'll do something different with the with the music video artwork, though. Yes, we have a, we have a we have a very cool uh, plan for it. Idea. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So more, something else is coming, indeed. Yeah. Yes. Now, yeah, our time is almost running out because Zoom just warned me. But in any case, is there like anything new coming up except the album? Are you planning any tours, or is it still a little bit too difficult to do? things like that yeah it, it is very scary to to book uh shows right now uh, we are definitely going to do like a release show um we're also looking into possible to, uh, uh tour like um a support tour um for 2022 but so far we don't have anything like scheduled like for real for like it's scheduled um but there, we, we're working on that, definitely. Yes. But 2022, we're going to yeah. play. <laughs> okay. yes. All right, cool. I think that's it for my questions. Do you have any last thoughts you want to share with fans and other people uh, out there? Uh, definitely for, for all the people in the metal world and the uh, and, uh, beautiful planet Earth and some of that state. Uh, just uh, it's wonderful to have have support and just want to know that especially in our community in the metal and rock community uh, that support of, of you guys that's insanely um, important for us and it's it's making the first of the music grow that I wouldn't say even survive because I think us as a as a community we growing and we just making sure that you know the legacy has been preserved there and just like every single person that is helping us, although they don't have to be named sometimes. They're very important. We very, very appreciate you guys. You're fucking awesome. Especially you, tonight. Well, I can't I believe how good you are at this, like thanking people. That's so yeah. I, I can listen to it for hours, actually. No, I yeah. thank you so much for having us. <laughs> okay. like, we, had a, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> so thank you. Oh, yeah. that was as good as mine. <laughs> No, I need like uh, thank you so much for uh, for this opportunity and uh, for your time as well. Yeah. Yeah. Go and um, yeah, well, I, and I hope uh, I I, th I hope Finland will like it as well. I actually noticed that a lot of um, there are a lot of Finnish bands who are more in this new core, like yeah. new style. Because I was just checking out on Spotify like who's like connected like to us or like like band, you know you click on the band you click the next one. It's all Finnish bands. It's like holy shit! Like this stuff is like big in Finland or so. Like it's really alive. Like the like a new core alternative metal music. 
I yeah. was kind of like, like surprised by that. I was like, well, wow, awesome. And then this number one medal anyways, right? Yeah, yes. well, Same yeah. Rules. <laughs> yeah, you need to team up with some of those bands and do some shows here, maybe. I'm sure that there will be people coming at least. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs>